This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Linode, high-performance cloud hosting for everyone. Visit linode.com slash macvoices and take $20 off your first server package. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, this is another one of our NAB replacement shows. Uh, I really wish I was in Vegas talking to these gentlemen in person, but I wouldn't be because they're not there either. Nobody's nobody's in Vegas. Um, so I want to work welcome back to the show, um, FX Home, uh, represented by Josh Davies. Josh, welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I wish we were meeting face to face, but uh, you know this is good as well. Yeah, well, it's it's the new world, right? We we got to adapt. We got to adapt. And also for the first time here uh, from Magix Vegas, um, Gary Revholtz. Gary, welcome. It's great to have you as well. Thank you, Chuck. It's nice to be here. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. But again, I, I wish you were in person, but you know, yeah. we, we do what we got to do. Exactly. So I, I have both of you on together because you two have a bit of a joint initiative going on with a, with a product this time. And so I'm not going to steal anybody's thunder. I want to let you announce it and talk about what it is. Okay, Josh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll jump off with that. Um, yeah, we have, we being Vegas Creative Software on my side and FX Home on Josh's side have teamed up to create um, a bundle of products that were that we call Vegas Post. We actually uh, released this last year. We introduced it, uh, we announced it last year at NAB, um, but we're still working hard on it and, and um, improving it all the time. And basically what we've done is we've taken our uh, Vegas Pro product from Vegas Creative Software, and we have uh, leveraged a long-term relationship that we've had with FX Home uh, over several years and um, brought them into our Vegas brand to provide amazing compositing with Vegas effects and, uh, for video and um, compositing and um, image editing for still images with Vegas image. And so we've brought three products together, uh, three really powerful, really uh, exciting sort of underdog products and uh, put them together in a great bundle that we are um, calling Vegas Post and moving ahead with. Okay. So Vegas Post, I mean, obviously from its name is a post-production tool. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And what platforms is this running on or what's the, what is this supporting? Vegas Post runs uh, strictly on Windows platform at this point. Yeah. Okay. And and so the first thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get an email saying, okay, then why are we hearing about this on, on a, an Apple oriented show? But as everyone knows, you know, when I go to NAB, I'm not quite as platform specific uh, because it's interesting to see what's happening on different platforms and, you know, how it can aid in the video production. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the right tool for the right job. Exactly. And more and more, uh, you know, more and more people are turning to Windows and the PC to do their creative work, and it just makes sense. And as often as not, now you've got both platforms in the same studio anyway. So, uh, yeah, I think there's something here for everybody. Yeah, we've had a discussion about that here, just the fact that there are so many mixed studios and that in some cases there are projects that are being started on one platform that are being moved over to another platform to do something else or finish off or start on one then move – to the Mac to finish. So it's, it is all about the right tool for the job. Exactly. And that's, that's the thing about, you know, the pro user, they understand that it, we're just talking about tools. We're not talking about, you know, ideology or anything like that. We're talking about the tools that help people get their jobs done. And, um, you know, the pro users are, are serious about it. They're going to use the tools that help them get their job done. Simple as that. Exactly. So Josh, how does, how does FX home fit into this? Well, uh, yeah, as Gary was saying, we've had this really long relationship with guys over uh, at Vegas Creative Software. This is probably about the best part of 10 years where we've worked with them on one way or another. And we've always really enjoyed it. So when they were looking for ways to expand their already like really compelling product, um, we kind of jumped at the chance. Because we've had this long relationship and worked together, we have quite a great relationship with the Vegas user and we know quite a lot about them because a lot of them are our users as well and they 
have a real loyalty to that product. They really care about it. They're so happy with the way the team have been progressing it over the last couple of years. It's uh, amalgamating with Magic. But like the actual product itself is it's the class leader in certain areas, and it always has been. But like it's really driving forward, and we're excited to be part of that, and trying to sort of add to some areas of the product, um, particularly on the visual effects side and the imaging side. So sort of basically building it up so that it was a really great platform. I guess you could say with the equivalent of After Effects and a little bit like the equivalent of Photoshop, but like building that so that we can work on the round trip aspect. So well, we've, we've looked at what's out there. We've looked at other products that have maybe been incorporated together and had limitations on the ways that they could do that, or maybe even had the feature set cut down. And from the outset, we've tried to make sure that the feature set is as good as it can be, uh, really, really solid, and also that we can then work between the products very well. So, yeah, we're a year into this, and we've got a lot of things that we want to do as part of the developer cycle is everything that's done kind of is discounted and moved behind you, and you're always looking at the next goal. But we really feel that we can make a very compelling case for how these products can work together so that the user has a very frictionless sort of uh, workflow through the different products. And, yeah, even incorporating parts of the products into each other to make sure the, the technology is right where you need it rather than you having to jump off somewhere else. So th this is probably just semantics, but I'll ask anyway. Is this considered a, a, a Magic's Vegas product or is it a, an FX Home product? Or I, I realize you're both collaborating on it, but whose product is it? It's a partnership. We actually have started a new company for this, this product. So it is actually a, a, a partnership product. Of course, uh, the daddy product, as it was, is Vegas. You know, like it has a really strong user base, and this is a professional level product. So uh, we we are the, the smaller party in this, but yeah, it's definitely a collaboration. Understood. Okay, so I have to ask then, what does this bring to the post production party? Because that's going to be the most important thing: is what makes this a a different and unique tool. Well, I, I can let Josh speak. Uh, to more of the specifics, uh, but I'll speak from a more general sense. Uh, what this brings is the first, I guess, I would comfortable saying the, the first true alternative in the post-production space, the first true alternative to, um, as Josh mentioned, some of the, the After Effects kind of products and, you know, the, the Adobe Cloud. Um, that's not for everybody. People are looking for alternatives and the market thrives with alternatives, right? And so um, with the the uh, powerful NLE, the video editing aspect that Vegas Pro brings, combined with the post-production stuff that uh, uh, Vegas FX and Vegas Image from FX Home bring, uh, it's really a true package that, that professionals can look at and say, well, I can stay in this environment from the beginning to the end. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, we wanted to, we wanted to provide an alternative and we wanted to, from our side, from the Vegas creative software side, we wanted to work with a partner that is similar to us, that has our same kind of uh, approach to um, development and business and FX Home was a natural uh, partner for us. Yeah, I think for, from my point of view, the, the amazing thing here is that there's a bunch of great things about this product. So yeah, the, 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 the elephant in the room, the Adobe products, which they have a great set of products. Some people don't want those products. Some people want to add to those products. Uh, some people find them too expensive. And what we got here in terms of our subscription is a, a bunch of great products for pretty much the price of one of Adobe's products on subscription. So you're getting the whole lot. You then got like one of the fastest editors around which is Vegas. And if you get skilled and know what you're doing in Vegas, I don't think there's anything faster for editing stuff. But then what we've added to that is the feature set of what has traditionally been in our HitFilm Pro product, which is bringing 3D models, it's bringing text and grading and all sorts of things. So we're, we're, we're a very full toolbox of stuff. But then we've also brought in this imaging product and we iterate on this stuff very, very rapidly because we're, we're I guess it's, we're the sort of grassroots company. We're uh, a really young and dynamic development team, and we're actually adding to the products really, really quickly to improve them. But, you know, behind all of that, we've got, you know, 20 years' experience in this. So it's not like we're, we're breaking things as we go. Vegas, and this is a great thing about working with these guys, is that they've always been very particular. 
about what they release, how they release it, and how they keep things consistent. So we're working into that side and taking the strength from both sides to just try and push this product forward. The first year has been very exciting. I'm looking forward to year two. I think it's going to be even more exciting. Uh, so yeah, I think there's an awful lot that we can do. And there's loads of places we can innovate and do stuff a little bit differently because we don't have that huge legacy that some other companies have. So from what I know about FX Home and what I know about Sony Vegas, uh, excuse me, uh, Magic's Vegas, um, this seems like that it, it is in direct competition with the, uh, you mentioned Adobe, so I'll mention Adobe, that, that this is a pretty direct competition to their full suite of pa of, of effects and editing. Is is that the way you're positioning this? Yeah, and uh, definitely, as I said, it's a, it's a true alternative to what, the expected is right now. Um, and yeah, we're, we're going head to head, but I think that helps. It helps the community. It helps Adobe to be stronger and, and, you know, they competition is good for everybody. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not afraid to say that that's what, what we're going for. Yeah. Well, I, and you're right. I mean, competition is always good for everybody, and and especially the the uh, the end users are the ones that win the biggest, because then they do have the alternatives and the options at different price points, and depending on what their project needs are, um, I guess different skill requirements. This Mac Voices is sponsored by Linode, your solution for when you need a virtual server in the cloud. Need a virtual cloud server like now? Linode has you covered. You can deploy a new server customized to your purpose with the features you want in seconds. Time is money, and if you have that immediate need, Linode is there. And even if you don't need your new server that quickly, Linode is there. And these aren't just any servers. These are SSD-based, 40 gigabit network, high-performance processor-powered servers that are capable of web hosting, distributed applications, hosted servers, and more. Pick from a simple $5 per month nanode plan or ramp the whole way up to a high-powered dedicated CPU. When you need to upgrade as your requirements demand, that upgrade is a click away. To make some deployments even easier, there's a host of one-click installs available, from Minecraft to WordPress. Need to locate your server in a particular location for either performance or legal reasons? No problem. Linode has servers all over the world. Perhaps most important, though, is their pricing. No surprises, no hidden costs. You pay for what you need, and you pay for what you use on an hourly basis. No data transfer fees like some of the larger cloud services. It's your data. Why would you expect to pay to access it? With Linode, you don't. These are just a few of the features that Linode brings to the table. I want you to visit linode.com slash macvoices right now and see what all the fuss is about. Again, linode.com slash macvoices takes $20 off your first server package. You've been thinking about that virtual server of your own for a long time. Make it happen today with Linode. Thanks to Linode for their support of Mac Voices. So if you're going head to head, then that means the obvious question has to be, what kind of pricing is there and, and how are you structuring that part of it? That's a good question. We, uh, we're offering two models. We offer a perpetual model still, and uh, the perpetual model price is $9.99. And we're also offering a, a subscription model, which is for $21 a month, which Josh said is a, is a very attractive and aggressive price for the uh, products that you're getting. I, I, yes, it, um, there's no question about that. I, Josh, I know we've had some discussions with folks from from uh, your company about the unusual uh, way you all look at subscription models and all. Is any of that being integrated into this venture, or is that strictly is is the, is the the subscription model just a subscription model? Perpetual license is just a perpetual license. Well, the perpetual license with these guys, you know, it's it's uh, you know just under a thousand dollars, but they do always do great upgrade pricing and things like that as well. So there's always been this, and I think we found it as well. There's a lot of people that maybe uh, do the upgrade every other cycle rather than every cycle and things like that. But the pricing has always actually been really really solid on the on the Vegas side. But when it comes to the subscription, it is just you know a standard subscription. It's a bit different to. Hit film, but we are serving a different user base here. So, you know, the hit film, pro, mainly prosumer 
uh, hobbyist kind of user base and everything. Whereas the, the Vegas user base is a little bit more professional, a little bit more using it for business, using it at a higher level. So the subscription and the subscription being so affordable, I think is really attractive to that user base. So they always know that they've got the up-to-date stuff. The other thing I think that, especially if you're introducing something new like this, is the, the training is, is okay, so I decide I really want to go with you guys and I want to take a shot at this. How do I go about learning, uh, leveraging what I already know, but learning the, the ins and outs of this sp sp specific program? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, on the, on the, the Vegas effect side and the Vegas image side, we, we can actually uh, point people out on a lot of the content that we already have for our products because while the interface is different looking, a lot of the technology is the same, uh, but we are also producing new content that's around this product. And uh, I think the team here is very good at creating that content. And then also you've got the guys over at Vegas Creative Software making stuff too. Yeah, uh, from our side, we we are uh, you know we put out our our in-house videos and training materials. We have a lot of community users that. Do their own training, and and um, it's, it's just like FX Home. A lot of grassroots stuff uh, being developed. And uh, in uh, April here, we just started a um, a series of uh, live training webinars on YouTube Live, and uh, kind of been blown away by just how popular those have been. They've just been wildly <laughs> uh, enthusiastically attended. Uh, so we intend to do more of that kind of stuff as well for. Um, Vegas Pro itself and, and also some of the other uh, products and we're working together with Josh and his crew to come up with um, Vegas effects and Vegas image specific tutorials that will be posted to our, our channels and so forth. So yeah, definitely the training is an important aspect of what we're trying to do here because you're right. Um, if you're going to convince people that they should try an alternative, you better show them how <laughs> to use it, right? So. Um, There's an awful lot of history on both sides, I think. Though. So we're not coming at this completely, you know, fresh. There's like zero content there. You know, Vegas has been a, a top-tier editor for a very, very long time, and HitFilm has been uh, had a, a huge array of tutorials. There's hundreds, uh, probably thousands of tutorials about HitFilm online. So there is a wealth of content, and we're not making any kind of. Uh, we're not hiding the fact that we're working together on this. It's not like a. FX own product by stealth it is that we're working on this together under the, the big daddy product, as it were, of Vegas. So there's a lot of content around and we're working together, both our marketing teams are working together to make sure, you know, the creative teams do make that content. So it's fair to say that um, if I'm familiar with, with HitFilm and what you do um, and what uh, Magic's Vegas does, that... I can leverage a lot of that knowledge into the in the new product and Absolutely. and take take advantage of that. That's very way. You can leverage, I would say, pretty much all of that knowledge uh, because, as Josh said, it's it, we're, we're not making any secret about it. It's it's essentially their hit film product with a few tweaks to make it feel a little bit more like the Vegas uh, environment. And um, whatever you know in in those products, you, you'll know in Vegas FX. And Vegas Pro just remains Vegas Pro. It's the same Vegas Pro it's, it's been. Um, and so it uh, Vegas Post has the same basic version of Vegas Pro as you'd get if you just bought Vegas Pro. So all the training that exists for Vegas Pro over the years is completely relevant as well. And, and neither one of the, I guess, I'm not making, uh, making it clear. I want to make sure that I understand that neither one of the separate products are going away. This is just a new product that sort of combines the two and takes advantage of, of each other. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yep. I think even, you know, HitFilm is, uh, still works very well with Vegas. It doesn't work as well with Vegas as, uh, you know, Vegas FX does because additional workflow work has gone there. But I think everyone in both companies, I think the way that we look at our, you know, people to use our software and we look at the fair way that we want to treat everyone it's very much the same between the companies and always has been so we're not taking anything away we're just making something even better a better way of the work by working between the products so the, the last part of the equation is always availability is this out now or will it be coming 
Um, yeah, it's out now. Uh, we've had, we, I don't remember exactly when we released it last year, Josh, I don't remember if you remember the date, but we announced it last year at NAB and we released it shortly after that. So it's, it's been out there um, for nearly a year, if not a year already. And we've had several updates to the software, all three titles um, since then. And, and that's another way that we were so compatible with FX Home is we both had the same approach to, you know, we put out a, uh, a major uh, release and then throughout the cycle, we keep improving upon it with, with fixes or um, some new features and so forth. Uh, so yeah, it's available right now. So that just means that it's one more thing that uh, one more set of tools that storytellers can use to get their message out. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And on the Vegas side, you know, it's a really compelling tool and always has been for anyone that's editing around audio or working with audio is like a primary part of what they're doing. It's the best editor for that as well. So yeah, it's great at everything, but Vegas has always had some areas where it's just better than everything else. I'm allowed to say that. It's not my products, you know. <laughs> I need to boast about it. So, like, you know, but like, there are some things where Vegas is just the best tool to use. Uh, nothing comes close. And, you know, to be able to add to that some visual effects stuff and all the stuff that we're working on here, I think, you know, it's a very compelling tool set for any editor. But there's there's a lot of editors out there that is just, it is just the best tool set. Understood. Well then, where's uh, what's the website to go and, and learn more about this to get it and and try it out and uh, take a shot at it? Yeah, um, I'm glad you asked that. You you've mentioned a couple of times Vegas. Uh, you've mentioned Magic's Vegas, and that's a little bit misleading. The Vegas is its own brand. The parent company happens to be Magic's, but uh, if you try to if you try to go to the Magic's website, you're going a long way. Just go to VegasCreativeSoftware.com directly, and that takes you right to uh, the Vegas Creative Software website. And there you'll learn about Vegas Pro, you learn about all the other tools, and of course, that's where you'll learn about Vegas Post. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, sorry if I've been misstating that. I did not realize that, you know. Yeah, it's okay. Has... It, it, it's it's a common mistake. I mean, uh, you know, obviously Magix did buy the company and the software, but technically the brand is Vegas and the company that makes it is Vegas Creative Software. Perfect. Thank you for the clarification. Sure. And Josh, um, where should folks go to learn more about what you all do and, and you're part of the contribution to this? Well, that's all on the same website. So yeah, if you're interested in the Vegas Post, then go and see their website. They're, the guys have set up a beautiful website and there's content coming all the time. If you sign up for their newsletters, you're going to get more and more information about this. So if you're interested in this, and I think it's a really compelling set of tools and Vegas is an awesome editor, uh, just go ahead over to the website that we just mentioned and that's the best place to go. Otherwise, for our other stuff, the more uh, sort of prosumery through to hobbyist stuff, it's fxnome.com. Perfect. Gentlemen, thank you for the time. I really appreciate it. Um, it's thank you. Uh, it, next next year we we all get to meet in Vegas, like Nevada, and and do this yeah. hof hopefully again. Yeah, Absolutely. hopefully hopefully things get back to normal. But I I too appreciate your time, Chuck, and in the in the uh, chance to talk to your to your listeners and viewers. Appreciate it very much. I'm really glad you're still doing these things. You know, I think NAV being cancelled is a, uh, an excuse for everyone not to do this stuff. So the fact that you guys are still, you know, you're out there, you're still putting the content out there and informing people, it's really what the, the industry needs to be able to carry on in times like this. Well, that's what it's all about, you know, is, is getting the word out. I, I, I don't know how many times, you know, I've walked through the, through the halls of NAB and I find something that solves a problem for me that I didn't know, even know existed by a little software house or hardware house that I didn't know existed. And so if we can get more of this information out there, regardless of the platform, you know, I think everybody wins. So obviously you're both welcome back anytime to talk about what you're doing and uh, we hope to do it again. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. All right. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Uh, I, we hope to continue to do some of these things to bring the people that we would have talked to at NAB to you, even though we all aren't there. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, 
free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.